Well, ain't this just a fine old day? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Fine the day as was ever made. Especially for riding trails as we are. Hell, even old fella here seems to have a little skip in his step. Well, as much as a giant ram can skip, I suppose. I mean, just feel that sun on your face. Wind running through your hair. Carrying the smell of blooming wildflowers up on top of that cliff. Just like the spice of spring. Things like that can do a man on the trail good, you know. Sweet like. Almost tender, in a way. Like an old lover that you had a long time ago. <laughs> of course, you're a bit preoccupied with some slightly different thoughts now, ain't you, Star? Ones of a contemplative nature still, of course. But a little hard to appreciate the finer points of our little trip from where you're at. I mean... Hanging like a sack of potatoes off the ass end of a giant ram. All tied up like a haunted deer. Ain't exactly the most luxurious way to travel, I admit. But unfortunately, I am a man of simple means. Ah, but come to think of it, you are too. Ain't you, Star? A rough and tumble outlaw such as yourself. Bound to be made of sterner stuff than most. So you can't be fussing too much. Besides, it ain't all bad though. Fella here's a bit more sure footed than any horse, even if he does tend to smell a bit ripe at times. And you have the pleasure of getting a front row seat to experience the varied intricacies of trail dirt. Especially when the wind kicks up and you get a face full of dust. Ooh. Now that's gonna sour your mood a little bit. Mm-hmm. And speaking on the subject of foul, seems that your language is just as colorful as ever. You never do miss a chance to go and air the lungs, now do you, Star? I mean, in the brief time in which I've spent with you, you always seem to be hollering about something or another, threatening or just being all kinds of free and wild with your words. Seems like the pleasure of your presence comes with a bit of a free show, now don't it? Come on now, even you gotta admit that you are a cantankerous son of a bitch. But all the same, that certainly has been a pleasure so far. And a sweet voice like yours being so sour. Now that breaks up the boredom, if nothing else. They always tell you that the draw of a bounty hunter's life is these big, exciting adventures. Tracking down bounties and getting into all kinds of dust-ups. <laughs> That's the thought, anyway. Most of it, truth be told, is boring as all hell. Lots of traveling and asking questions, putting out fires here and there, and asking more questions and traveling, bit by bit, getting closer, but never quite getting the job done as fast as you want to. <sighs> I tell you, 
If only I could rest a spell at that rushing wild river over yonder. Hardly a better spot to take a moment off the trail and stretch your legs out. And just the thought of that cool, clear water. Mm. Now that would be just the thing to clear the throat of all the miles of dust you come through. Ah, now don't get so sore, Star. You're definitely one of the more spirited and entertaining bounties I've ferried. Normally I'm out there catching horse thieves or half-cocked ranch hands who went and played hide the sausage with some trail boss's favorite plaything. But you, you're the real deal, Star. Gone slender, through and through. I saw what you done. All the crazy shit you got up to on your way here. In all its glory, mind you. Spoke to the folks you are. Went to the smoldering heaps of twisted metal train cars. Hell. I even spent my fair share of time in the morgues you populated with some unlucky new residents. Tracking you down wasn't an easy task, but seems like it was the hard part. Got you in irons quick enough before you could draw on me and show me how you got that bounty. Oh, 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 no. I ain't bragging. No, sir. I know better than to think that you of all people are all hat and no cattle. The fact that I'm still sucking air after catching up with you, well, might be better used to breathe a sigh of relief than to be braggadocious about it. Nobody likes a sore winner, right? Still, I wouldn't have minded testing out your metal. The diecaster knows that I do love a proper shootout with a real gunslinger. Wonder which one of us would end up winning that. <sighs> oh well, too late to find out now. I guess I'll have to console myself with the sizable stack of scripts someone's paying for your sorry self. Charming as you are, I don't think I'd keep your company if I wasn't getting paid for it. Though even the payment itself nearly makes up for wasting the better part of my days as a late, tearing through the brush for hauling you on the road to civilization. When I much prefer to be off elsewhere, rambling about in this fine vista. But even still, gotta pay my dues. That's just the way shit is. Ever since I agreed to be a regulator. Probably better this way, but... Well... At least it's a nice day. I reckon not even your shit-ass disposition can put a damper on that. And, as a happy bonus, I can still gag you if your jaw wobbles a bit too much for my liking. Enjoy the sights and sound without your constant, contemptuous crowing. <laughs> oh, well, shit. And here I thought the only words you knew were fuck you, eat shit, and you'll pay. But damn, Star, by that little twinkle in your eyes as you was talking, seems like you ain't too opposed to the idea of a little extra bondage. 
Here you are, all bound and restrained, nice and tight, and still hoping for more. Guess you're a little more fond of the rope than most, aren't you? And who would have thought that all it took was cuffing your hands to get this badass gunslinger going in a whole nother direction? All right then, Star. Since you're in a bit of a sharing mood, you wouldn't happen to have a preference for what occupies your mouth, would you? We got a couple of options for you. The bite of a rough rope is a bit of a classic, but perhaps some ridged leather would suit your fancy. Or maybe you'd prefer something a little more filling. <laughs> That's what I thought. You really just can't help but run your mouth, can you? You are doing so good. Did the whole kinky and sultry angle more genuine than I thought you would? But come on. You don't think a bounty's ever tried that with me before? Folk try all kinds of things to avoid getting brought in. You wouldn't believe how many secret fortunes or mystical fairy tales I've been told about that every damn cutthroat of tax dodger swears up and down actually exists and could be mine if only I let them off the hook. Shit. Their words ain't as good as real script though. No matter how tall the tale. It's a shame you done did what you did done. And even worse, that you got caught by me without much of a fight. But you are a looker, I admit. Catching the eye nicely, like a shiny coin in the road. If our situations were a bit different, I would have liked to see where a handle of whiskey took us. But alas. Hey, hush up now. Fun is fun, but I've done heard about enough out of you for two lifetimes, and I ain't gonna start working on a third. I'll have some damn peace and quiet one way or another on this trip. And I ain't too picky about how it's done. If I gotta rattle your skull to get it, then so be it. Though, somehow, you're louder asleep than you are awake. You snore like a thunderstorm rolling across the plains. Alright. Had just about enough of you anyway. Time for you to take a nap. Oh. oh, damn it. Oh, you fucking shit. Where you going, huh? Oh. Oh, fuck. Come here, you little... Oh. You ain't overpowering me. Now when I'm shifted like this. And especially not when I'm on top. 
pressing you into the dirt. You ruined my damn shirt. <clears throat> Quit your squirming. <sighs> All this damn fuss. Over what? Where the hell were you even gonna go? Are you gonna jump into that river with your hands tied? You really gonna make me fish your drowned dumbass out of there? Well, speak up, boy. Oh, oh the hell. You stupid little prick. You really just fucking bite me? That's how you want to play this? All right, then. Now that's how you fucking bite deep into that juicy, tender meat. You're lucky I don't tear a chunk out of you for pulling this shit. But I ain't in the mood to haul around a bloody pile. So you get off easy with just this one little bite. Next time, though. You've got a fine taste of you, Star. Thick and hot. Makes me want to just lap it up. Smells nice too. How that sharp scent hangs in the air. There's something else behind it though. Underneath. I know your scent star. Been tracking you by it for a while, but this. This is new, heady and strong. Not fear, never smelled that on you before. Something teasing and warm. Star, you wouldn't happen to be getting off on me. It's just a little bit, would you? <laughs> Damn. You're a fucked up little freak, ain't you? Getting weak in the knees now of all times. Tell me. What's better for you? Getting pinned underneath the werewolf. Or getting bit by one. Mm, yeah. You liked that bite, huh? Thought you were squatting in pain at first. The truth is, you were in bliss getting caught in my jaws. What, you? Yeah. Sense rolling off of you like a bitch in the heat. You have been fun with all this. Well, maybe I'm in the mood to have a little fun of my own with this bratty bitch right here. I know you like my teeth. 
but my claws are nice too. Sharp, perfect, terror. You cost me a show at the start. Only fair that I take one too. Such pretty skin. Nice and supple. With some good muscle underneath. Mm. You're pretty as a picture. All ripped up like that. Only thing left intact are those. So you tell me. You want to keep that denim mask? Why am I ripping that off of you too? Hmm. Your arms aren't gonna be leaving my hands. But I'll help you out of those. I'll just... Hold this bit. And you can just shimmy your way out of them pants. Come on, master. Show me what those hips are for. Mm -hmm. There you go, cowboy. Just like that. Get into it now. Oh, such a showman. Can tell you ain't a stranger to riding in the saddle. Hope that helps, because you're riding bareback today. And you're a perfect size to fold in half, star. Putting your knees up like this, moving you into a nice, exposed position. Mm -hmm. oh, and you smell so good, too. Makes my head swim so damn much. Mm. I can't wait to wipe that damn smile off your face and replace it with something more naughty. Speaking of, it's just about time for you to slip out of my pants too. Hey. 